stand eye to eye with history, and they did not blink. The Heat are going to the NBA Finals. So the Denver Nuggets are going to play the Miami Heat in the finals. Let's talk about it. Let me start by saying I'm a Jimmy Butler fan. My favorite three players are Braun, KD, especially when he was with the Thunder, then Jimmy. He's the only one without a ring on that list, so I think the Heat are going to win. Just let me be delusional in peace. This video is going to be split into three parts. First, we're going to talk about Game 7, and then we're going to talk about the whole Eastern Conference MVP dilemma. Then we're going to talk about what the Heat needs to do to beat Denver. Let's do it. That feels a certain way about Boston. So I make sure that everybody feels a certain way about Boston. You know, that's part of my job as the caretaker. With that said, uh, there's great respect uh, for them. I would much rather be swept and fake a 3-0 comeback than lose the most important game of the season. I understand Tatum got hurt in the first play of the game. Crashing into Vincent, and he twisted an ankle perhaps. Can you describe just how much your mobility was limited by the ankle and kind of what it took for you mentally to kind of grind through it and still you know, play those minutes and, and do it in a significant way? Unfortunately, injuries are a part of this game. I've played 95% of the game since I've been in the league. I've unfortunate fall tonight on the first play of the game and um, some I was trying to battle through. Uh, throughout the game. But you have a whole nother superstar that wants 300 million next year. I expected to win today um, and move on. That's what my focus was on. And that's what my focus has been on. We failed, I failed, and it's hard to think about anything else right now. I'm gonna be honest, I was one of the people pushing the JB's better than JT agenda because that's what it looked like for a while until the playoffs started. They're on Twitter talking about how Russell Westbrook has better handles than him. Jalen Brown is leading the playoffs in fouls and turnovers. Those are the two worst things you could do in the sport. You guys wanna see a picture of their defensive player of the year? The whole game was just Derek White versus Caleb Martin. To the MVP of the Eastern Conference Finals, the Larry Bird Trophy and Alonzo. Jimmy Butler. Yeah! Caleb Martin got robbed of the MVP. He was easily the most consistent player in the whole series. All seven games. Don't get me wrong, Jimmy Butler's having a ridiculous run. Like the whole Michael Jordan's son thing was always a joke, but I'm starting to believe it more every year. Last time I checked, the award went to the most valuable player in that series, and that guy was Caleb Martin. Crazy to think that just two years ago, he was waived by the Hornets. I saw somewhere that he did a workout for the Lakers at some point. Of course he did. We're always letting these players just slip by. But now let's get into the point of the video, how to beat Denver. If the Heat do these five things, they will beat the Denver Nuggets in seven games. Because let's be honest, it's not going to be easy at all. Number one, slow down Jokic and Murray. It's been proven that you can't stop them, but you can slow them down. One of them is the unofficial three-peating MVP. I haven't seen so many triple doubles from one player since Russell Westbrook, which makes that even more impressive because he's a point guard. Number two, Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo absolutely has to show out. This entire series should be his. Not only because he's matched up with Joker, but because the Nuggets are a good rebounding team, mostly because they're a tall team. Jokic and Adebayo are both in the top five for rebounds this playoffs, so that'll be a good battle to watch. Bam was pretty much useless in the Celtics series. Bam Adebayo where you at is crazy. Number three, you gotta be consistent on offense. The Nuggets are a team that can really get it going out of nowhere. You gotta have consistent offense to keep up with them. So Jimmy, Bam, Caleb, and potentially Tyler Hero, if the Heat can stall enough until he comes back. He's a huge part of the offense and they've been winning without him. Another thing to keep in mind is that the Lakers series ended about a week and a half ago. So it's exhausted team versus fully rested team. You could argue that the Heat are gonna be more prepared because they just got finished playing. Jokic was probably playing PlayStation the whole time. If you made it to this point in the video, then I want you to go straight to the comments and comment W video. I'll like every comment that says that. And also, back to the video. Point being that the power of friendship can only get you so far. Number four, no threes. The Miami Heat lead the playoffs in three-point percentage, but guess who's number two? Yep. You can't sleep on them, especially from the three-point line. Number five, steal an away game win and protect home court. This is a general rule for every team going into the playoffs, but it's very important that you win one of the first two away games. It won't be easy. The Denver altitude is no joke. When you go play in Denver, do you feel the altitude difference 100%? Like it's more difficult? Yes. But once you get that first five minutes out of the way, you're good. But like that first five minutes is hell. I'm not going to lie, bro. You be like... <gasps> 
Yeah. Running back down the court, your lips is white. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! I'm like, when the highest team will be facing the lowest team, we aren't just talking about playoff seed. The city of Denver sits at 1,608 meters above sea level. The city of Miami is only 1.8 meters above sea level, making this the largest difference in altitude in NBA Finals history. The Heat are six and two at home so far, so that's a good sign. Definitely got to secure those, and that's all I could think of at the top of my head. This is gonna be a really good series. Like I said before, I think it's gonna go seven games. I will be tuned in to see Jimmy get his first ring. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and getting my last video to a thousand views in just four days. And we hit 900. Been a good week for this channel. More videos coming soon. That's it for now. I'm out. Drop everything you're doing and join my Discord server right now, where you can get notifications for new and upcoming videos, chat and play with the community, submit art, memes, and thumbnails for me to use in my videos, and much more. Join links are in the description and the about section of my channel. I hate this channel. No!